Hey everybody, Robert here again. We're back with the final of our store project. And now this little store uh, put some new stuff in here. Some new gondolas. This is his uh, ATM machine he has and a Bitcoin machine over here is actually two. And then I got this uh, island here now and the checkout's going to be here. So this store, this place is right across the street from a school and it's full of kids up here this is always full of kids so now i'm going to have a look at we're going to have a look at what we got in here now so we took this gun we took this corner unit we put out there and then we have this for the walls uh so we can hang things on it and then we had also uh now this unit is going to be the middle, the center unit for both sides. And then we have this one for the walls. Okay, so now what's happening, what we do from now, this point on, we'll go back down into Revit. And so this is the layout. This, this shelving here, this is just wire shelving because they got a lot of kids and he puts potato chips here. He can play his lottery here. He's got an island shelf for more stuff here, a candy here. And then we got the existing coolers and then he's got his jackpots machines back here. So let's go have a look at this in our 3D view. So we're looking kind of nice here. So basically that's the new floor plan in 3D. Now we can go back to our furniture plan here and we can take photographs actually. So when we took that existing picture from before, I think I took that picture from right about here. So I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to stand right here and I want to take a photograph all the way back to here. And there's that view. Now I'm going to stretch this out a little bit here and here. So that's the view from the front. And then we go back to our floor plan. We can do another sh shot from the back. So let's do one from the back. Uh, camera. So I could just stand right here. I think I was standing, yeah, I was standing somewhere here and I went all the way to the front. So there's that picture. Now the good thing about this, we can adjust these views and things like, like that. So we can make this a little bigger and see from the back. Now what we do in Rivet, we have what we call this photo real rendering here. So we can change these, uh, to find and then I could go here, I can do my shaded view here. I can do my realistic view and I could do my hidden line. But what we do, what we want to do now, we want to do a photorealistic rendering of this view and a front view. Uh, and what, how that's done, you go up here to view and then you go to render. Then you select the adjustments here and then you let it run. Now this takes a long time and I already did these. So for the, the back view, this actual view here, it's going to be this one. So that's the real look from the back view. And then let's go look at the front view. So that was our front view. So again, um, I like this little store, this little special little project. My friend, a uh, friend of mine bought this place and uh, actually the only little convenience store in the whole area. They've got a lottery there and a jackpot machine, but the majority of the space is, is kids. So that's why we wanted to really focus in on the front area here because dude, I'm telling you, he can only get 10 kids at a time, you have to wait at the door. And then while the kids are in school during the day, they're doing lottery and other things, and then he's got his food here. So hey guys, I uh, want to just show you, do a quick 3D view of this. Uh, right here. 
right here. Let's go here and do this 3D view right quick for presentation six. And I think I'm going to leave it there for everybody because uh, we're done. So that's what it's going to look like. So remember, remember, I before and after picture. I don't have the other one with me, but you saw it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Thank you and good night. Bye.